hi there my name is len and in this video i am going to show you how to convert mbr to gpt for windows 11. this video will consist of why do you need to convert mbr to gpt important notes about mbr to gpt conversion for windows 11 installation and also update and how to convert MBR to GPT for Windows 11. According to Windows 11 system requirements, you must have UEFI and Secure Boot Mode enabled for your installing Windows 11 updates on your PC. If you check the Windows 11 compatibility on your computer and receive the following error message, it means that you haven't enabled UEFI and Secure Boot Mode yet. The error 1 message looked like this and also the error 2 message looked like this. The reason for these errors, your PC must support TPM 2.0 and also support secure boot it is a must to enable uefi and secure boot converting your os this from mbr to a gpt it is a must and a requirement for the windows 11 installation boot require the guide partition table for gpt partition type Before you convert the system this into GPT, here's two things that you need to confirm in advance, right? You need to check your motherboard to see if it supports UEFI boot mode. Also what you want to do, you want to restart your PC. Enter your BIOS option. Normally for different computers it can be different keys. It can be F2, F10 or F12. It can also be the delete key. So you enter the BIOS option and you can navigate to the boot mode option. Then you can check to see if your computer has UEFI mode. Then you can enable UEFI mode. If not, stop here. Your computer doesn't support UEF boot mode and you can't install Windows 11. If yes, you can continue checking the OS drive type. I am going to show you how to check the system partition type. Remember, your OS drive must be GPT. What you want to do, you want to hold the Windows key and R. You want to type DISK mgmt.msc hit ok this will open the disk management you can also search for this in the search bar so when you are at disk management you want to click here go to properties then you want to go to volume you can see that our drive is gpt and this is how you can know if your disk is in GPT style or MBR. If the system drive is GPT, you will need to go and enable UEFI and secure boot mode in BIOS to update to Windows 11 directly. If the system drive is MBR, you will need to follow the guide on how to convert MBR to GPT for Windows 11. There are three ways of converting a disk from MBR to GPT and from GPT to MBR. You can use CMD disk part command lines, disk management or a third party partition manager software. There are two former methods which require partition and data deletion for this type and conversion. The only secure and risk-free way to convert your OS disk 
from MBR to GPT is to turn into a reliable third party partition manager software in which I'll be showing you right now. So you want to head over to your internet browser, search for EaseUS Partition Manager Pro and you can go right ahead, you can download the software. So with this software you can transfer your OS from one hard drive to another, from MBR to GPT and also from GPT to MBR and also to BMR without losing any data or partition. Right guys, you can also merge, you can create, you can delete, you can format, you can also split your partition as well. After you have installed the software, you can see that it will show you the type of disk. You can see GPT here on this disk. So if you would like to convert your disk from MBR to GPT, you can do so without losing data. And I am going to show you how we are going to do so. So you want to click on the disk. You want to click here on the disk and you want to convert to GPT. This will convert the disk to GPT without losing any data. So there is no need to format, there is no need to do anything else. This will just convert the disk to GPT. And this is very vital especially if you are upgrading to Windows 11 and you do not want to lose any data. So as you can see it's completed. As we go back here we can see that the disk is now GPT and also we have not lost any data from the disk. So let me go ahead and show you the disk is still here and all the files are still here. So, so this is how you can convert very very easily and effectively from MBR to GPT for Windows 11. So you want to boot into your boot menu then when you are in your boot menu you want to go over to the security tab then you want to go to secure boot here you want to ensure that it is enabled once it is enabled you then go to boot you want to ensure that you have uefi enabled as well and once that is enabled you want to save changes and you want to exit and that's how you prepare for your Windows 11 installation. I hope that this video was helpful. My name is Len. Do like, share, 